Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Japan, episode number 14, 15, 16, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we were coming out of our big second, third war, second war with Prussia, first time with Germany. Everyone's getting a piece of the pie, but where will we go from here? Um, one comment was that maybe we should accelerate these. It doesn't make sense to accelerate the ones that are 27 or 26 because after checking, these only drop by two months. And, and then, um, <clears throat> so I ran the math off camera. I don't know it now anymore. 28 times 27, good God. I mean, it's not a number I can do in my head very easily, but I just um, think it comes to slightly over 700. Whereas 32 times 25, this is really easy to do because this is 800. 25 times 32 is 800. 25 times 4 times 8. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that is a big difference. We won't be doing that. This is actually like 750, but that's still 50 million. However, this one, it has three, three it actually saves three months. So we go from, so this is the same. It's, it's only 800 million this way and 28 months let me just do this, 28 times 28. Let's get this going. Okay, bring this over, times 28. So it's a savings of only 16 million and we can get the ship three months earlier. So it's a little more expensive overall, but um, I'll go ahead and try to do that one anyway. We'll just check out one with acceleration. Okay, so uh, moving on. Now we have 1500 ton destroyers, that's that's quite good. The question that we should be asking ourselves is what to design next, and I still think, actually, I'm not sure. I was gonna say I still think we should do a light cruiser next, but the battle cruiser is also an interesting option. Since our initial battle cruiser, very fast, but it doesn't have any capabilities for anti-battle cruiser, battle cruiser. Okay, superimposed turrets on armored cruisers, maybe. Maybe we get our armored cruiser at last. <laughs> I think I will build one armored cruiser. I'll treat it like a heavy cruiser just because we have had a lot of desire or, um, you know, a lot of people are asking for that. Okay, ladder shooting, better f uh, fire control. We'll take the technology. Gyroscope, that's probably torpedoes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. We required... Wait. It said I thought that we acquired it from the Germans. <clears throat> um, okay, well, the US government just wants to sell us everything. Take that for sure. Yeah, I don't really know what we'll design next and I'm pretty sure our budget won't be a problem. I think that we'll have a, an increase. Okay, they did not have super firing. This is interesting. This is their treaty ship, it is. So this is the German treaty ship, 29 knots, 15,000 tons. Surprisingly, they didn't go over. I think they could have gone over to 16,500, but they chose not to. 14 six inch guns and turrets, always that funny thing where they actually have seven six guns, but in double turrets, that obviously doesn't make sense. That's three and a half turrets per side, but the game lets you get away with it. Oh, wow, this is huge, 14 inch guns. I mean, that's the worst of the ones that we could have got considering I think we already had 13 inch guns at quality zero. So it's the most incremental, small increment we could increase by, but it's something. Who do we want to go to war with? Well, we haven't had any luck so far. I'm tempted to say Great Britain. Yeah, I think it will be Great Britain. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I have a feeling that we can actually handle them. And we've already gone to war with, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness, um, Great Britain. We've already gone to war with Germany and France. Okay, this is the new battle cruiser, the US. 40,000 tons. Somebody was recommending I increase my dock size. We're up to 38,000. I don't usually build ships more than 45, so I'm kind of okay letting our dock size increase on its own. It's 1919 and we're already pretty much the end game size battle cruisers. I mean, um, tonnage size. As far as this battle cruiser, it is pretty good. Eight 15 inch guns, 
great armor, great speed. This is a darn good battle cruiser. And they are up to, are we up to director firing? We are, okay, good. We have director firing on those. I probably am not gonna upgrade these, but we do have director firing on them, okay. Yeah, our battle cruisers are all pretty much in elite status, which is good. Okay, another, hmm. <laughs> I wonder what they're serving at for dinner at the flag officer's mess, trying to ignore the question. Let's say it's Great Britain. Okay, fire control, ship design, we're making advances, but they haven't panned out for us yet. You know what, if it's not Great Britain though, it really should be Germany. We can take a lot of these German colonies, and obviously Germany's not gonna be able to respond well. However, the same could be said about the two Asian provinces. Hmm. All right, let's divvy up our battle cruisers once again. Let's send these guys to Southeast Asia just so we are supporting both sides. And let's make sure we also have a ton of... Uh, okay, I don't know, but maybe... Is it the case that maybe short-range destroyers can't engage in raiding? Is that the... Is that the reason why we haven't had any surprise attacks yet? I don't know. Ooh, that is ugly. <laughs> oh, that is... <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> that is an ugly ship. <laughs> uh. Okay, so Germany is hosting an international regatta and sail race. We'll go for the win. I wouldn't mind going to war with Germany. Better fire control has come up a few times, but we got torpedo stuff. Interesting. We know fire. The improved director should only be uh, a hair's breadth away. Okay, the new naval secretary is out to push our buttons again. He wants us to build ten additional cruisers. I think we'll we'll do this. Okay, so the next ship will indeed be a new light cruiser. Now, let's not be silly. Let's actually wait until October and then design it. Oh, good. So this has finally removed our um, backward shipbuilding, which is perfect timing, and we can build ships much faster. Yes, definitely condemn the... Okay, we'll probably go to war with Great Britain. <laughs> Germany just got 14-inch guns. Uh, a couple more months. Oh, wow. Another Sagami? I think we'll take that. 10% discount is, you know, like an $80 million savings. So it's, of course, worth it. And what do we call this one? Well, I have the list up already, so it shouldn't be too e difficult. This is going to be the Hibiki. Wait, no, the Hanabira. The Hibiki already exists. There it is. Okay, let's get the Navy League to protest against the proposal, which is supposed to water down our budget. Never. I took water down from my peripheral vision, obviously. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Oh, good. Increased elevation is huge. And secondary turrets on dreadnoughts. Wow. That was a fantastic turn for us. Um... Let's see. That was really good, actually. <laughs> Secondary turrets, did we actually get it, though? Oh, we did. So we actually got secondary director. Okay, we have to redesign a lot of our ships now, I think, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, I'm back. So, Director firing stays the same, but we have increased elevation and we have director secondaries, which we both need to, which we need to add. And you can see that actually the cost for doing this is almost nothing. So increased elevation is free. I don't under, I do not understand why. And putting secondary gun, um, director on secondary guns is really, really, really cheap. Now the only downside of this is that some of our elite status might go away because when they're not they're not considered to be training when they're in the um, dockyard for refits. 
And sometimes I notice, I don't, I, I don't understand this mechanic well, but it seems like sometimes when they come back, even when they're trained back up, that crews never get back to elite. To me, experience should be a separate thing. Like um, the stable experience or what's the word on um, steady state experience is probably what I'm trying to say. Uh, or final experiences should be one value. Whereas current experience, like um, maybe they're in port, but the crew is all very really experienced. So as soon as they work up a little bit, they should be back up to elite status. It, I don't know how it works. I don't even know if what I just said makes, makes sense, but okay. So we'll save this design. It has the two things we want, increased elevation, better director I mean, secondary guns. We could actually put these into double turrets now, but you can't do that in a refit. So do this, we'll get these rebuilt as well. And is it important for us to refit these as well? Well, the interesting case to be made about this is that we could potentially go to um, double turrets on these. I mean, single turrets, no. Can we go to double turrets? Yeah, cannot. Only in single mounts. It's telling us there, so we could do this, but we don't have the space for it, and I frankly don't think we have the ability to give up that much ammo. So we're gonna leave our battleships as is. All of our pre-war battleships are just gonna stay the way they are right now, indefinitely. So, And now that I actually see, I forgot that when ships are outside of your sea zone, they do cost a little bit more. We'll probably pull those battle cruisers back to Northeast Asia and leave them there, even though I have been leaving them in Southeast Asia, just because they are slightly more expensive. So we will get all of our Azumis, which are more expensive than our uh, Chiodas. We'll get all these, well, not this one, to move back to Northeast Asia. Okay, we won't get all of them. We'll leave these three, because what I'm thinking of is surprise attack. So I'm gonna reverse the circumstances. I'm, uh, the current position of all our fleets are gonna be reversed, all our Azumis at least. So we're gonna get the Honoka. Oh, we already have a whole bunch of Honoka in yeah, this is fine. I'm still going to put a whole bunch of Azumis in Northeast Asia as well. It'll save a little bit of money. And just keep three Azumis. Now, we want to make sure we have enough destroyers in both places. Uh, how many do we have right now? Six. Let's get a total of ten down there. Especially because I think we'll be creating a new destroyer design pretty soon. I, I would say so. Seems like a wise idea to me. Alright, so pushing on. We've been the subject of sabotage. So yeah, we're already up to 39,000. I don't know if I will. Okay, so November, this is where we have to design our new light cruiser. How would it look? We know that the last one wasn't terribly successful. Yuck, no, 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 no. It actually gave us three secondary turrets. That's not even possible. I can't even write that number in. Can I? Oh, I can. I've never I I've never seen that before. <laughs> well, uh can we add service mounts? No, not yet. So we would probably take all these. Um what kind of light cruiser would we be going for? Probably just another evolution of the Honoka, but not with the same unfortunate name. Unebi, uh Not cramped, definitely not cramped. Ooh, we can put some mines on them. I kind of like that. It's 10, it's one ton per mine, so, hmm. All right, well, let's just start picking out some of the things I, I know for sure I'd want to the top of this. Deck of two, belts this. Um, I think we're gonna go with centerline turrets now, so it is more important for me to all right, we'll do this, we'll do this. I think that's a reasonable thing. And then we'll start doing all these. All right, now that doesn't probably make sense. <laughs> How many did we end up putting here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I get rid of one of these, either the inside or the out, 
we still have seven gun broadside. And I think that this is a little messy. All right, let me, let me do something interesting. Let's just start adding the rear turrets one by one so I can figure out, okay, obviously this one has a good firing arc. So let's clear. And now let's add the next one. This one does not, okay. So W is not that important, but V does. So V is one we will definitely keep. And R is probably not the one we'll keep. And from R we have midships, which faces backwards, which I've never liked, but at least it's midship. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is this. We're not gonna include R. We will include Q and L, and then we'll do A, D, E, F, G. That is a hell of a ship. <laughs> oh, shoot. Forward center line I didn't want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's get rid of that forward center line. It's kind of in a funny position anyway. Okay, so now we have really good coverage still. Two of these turrets, um, this one and this one, are only able to do 45 to left and right. Those are the only two that are restricted in such a manner. Everything else either has these three... Sorry, this one, this one, and this one have only missing the 90 degree arc behind them. So missing 90, missing 90, and missing 90. Uh, or they have this 60 degree angle over here, which means they are missing technically all the, all the other side of the ship, but they have another turret covering that. So this is good, um, is at least from a, from a starting standpoint. Is it possible? Very good question. Yes. It's possible and it looks amazing. The only thing that's missing and the very unfortunate thing about this ship is that it doesn't have enough torpedoes. Uh, you probably want to even make the case that since the speed will be 28, there's no need for two sets of these. I think we should get rid of, of a pair of these and maybe, no, I don't, think there's anything else I would try to adjust anyways. Maybe, okay, we need a little bit more ammunition. I don't think we should go for secondaries. At the same time, we're able to get the exact ship that I want in with 155 rounds, which is plenty. I really like this. I think we actually will keep this. Um, this one can't shoot towards the funnels, so I was thinking the funnel position looks a little weird. They have that gun right in between, but it's fine because it can't fire at the funnels anyway. So I, I have to say I actually like this. I actually do. And we have plenty of room for improved director when it comes around. We have the increased elevation. We don't need director on our secondaries. I don't think we have that available for yet. We can't do those on light cruisers quite yet. But everything else is really, really good. And we have, even have the all or nothing armor scheme on this, which is probably saving us quite a lot of space. Speed of 28, okay, look, it's not gonna be able to, it's not the fastest light cruiser in the world. But what it lacks in speed, it definitely makes up in, for in firepower. And I think what we'll do is leave this one a little bit of a slower one, only 28, which I guess is the speed, no, 27 was our Honoka. So it's still just slightly faster than the Honoka. But on top of that, it won't be as fast because it will be a gun torpedo, uh, a gun light cruiser. I already gave away what I'm trying to say. We will in the future make a light cruiser with torpedoes. I mean, this is only 19, not even 1920 yet. So give it another 10 years and we'll be needing a new light cruiser design. And that one will be probably even with double turrets. By the way, I don't know. Can we get rid of, can we use double turrets yet? No, we have not. Okay, good. So that's actually... I mean, it works in our favor in this case. All right, I'm gonna take it down to 155. I think that's, well, okay, We two tons is still fine. I'm a little nervous. We can always drop a few mines in the future too if we think that we need more rounds versus mines, but this is a great ship, both strategic because of mines and also uh, in battle, obviously. It's a 2.5 to 4.5, 2.5. So um, at range, it's good with two and at, at close range, it's also good because 2.5 for both. So. Definitely save this ship type and build me 
10 of these, which is going to be a bit rough on the budget. Yeah. Okay. We can get exactly one month of these in before we have to stop it. Um, which means we'll probably have to pause some of these. Let's put this one on hold for now. Because that one's three million. Why did it, why does that one cost three million? Why does that one cost three million? Very strange. It said knocked off 10% of the price, but it's actually 10%. No, not, it's not 10% more expensive. It's like, 5% more expensive, a little bit less even. I am very confused, I don't know why this one costs more. Did it just drop the number of months it needs to be created? I don't know. By the way, we should have lost the um, poor, yeah, you see, we don't have the poor shipbuilding or whatever that Russia should still have. Underdeveloped shipbuilding industry, you can see that we no longer have that. We still haven't been able to take advantage of the surprise attack and hopefully that'll happen in the next one, but okay. So let's just put a few, oh, our battle cruisers are being rebuilt. No, that, that's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so let's just put these two on hold, or maybe just one. I just need to try to get away with two months. Okay, we'll have to do two. There it is, I think that that should be sufficient because I don't know if the light cruisers will clear this month or next. Oh, very good, okay, so they cleared. Um, we need an agreement. Wait, 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 wait. These would all be scrapped. No, <laughs> do not call for an international disarmament conference. At the same time, no, no, we put way too much money into that. No, no, because I was thinking, I, I don't, that design's not the most amazing, but losing all that money would be horrifying. If you want peace, arm for war, this is the generic one, or otherwise we can actually try to negotiate an agreement who, with Russia, with the United States, and then turn on them in the end? Well, USA has been giving us lots of technology. What about this? Let's do an agreement with USA. Very good. Maybe that can turn into a tech sharing agreement, but it it's not immediately gonna do that. All right, we need to pause a few of these. I will rename them, but off camera. Good, that'll give us one more turn. These have finished their reconstruction. Maximum publicity. Oh, great. Of course, they're happy to report they're almost gonna master above water tubes on light cruisers because, oh no, that's that's not good at all. Oh God. <laughs> okay, well. Halt all the things then. Uh, I think we're gonna need halt more than this. Good Lord. Now the problem with doing this, what I'm doing here, is halting this and then probably should just scrap two of them now. Uh, I don't wanna scrap the namesake. Oh, good, I left the namesake building. Um, the reason why I'm thinking of scrapping two is just because uh, it's no good to hold back like this because, yeah, I'm gonna scrap these two. Oh, okay, well, the Naval Secretary's onto my game. We can't just scrap them immediately. They will let me put them on hold though. Okay, fine, fair enough. Although I have to say it was a cheaty, cheaty, clever little trick on their part that they gave me the better budget to build them and then took the budget away as soon as they <laughs> I, I started building them. That's, I am not happy about that. But there's nothing we can do, so. Yes. Demand the guilty are brought to justice, which is the most extreme action and there's above water to computer, uh, computer tubes, torpedo tubes. Of course that would happen only right after we design it. That's the way this game goes, always the way it goes. They will only give you better technology um, after you d decide to actually invest in something. We can probably get two of these back. Ooh, just barely. So we're gonna have to straddle that line for a while. Um, you know what, these ships are no longer relevant. I'm gonna move them to reserves. It's only gonna save us, let's see how much it saves us. 2725. Oh, okay. So 27 went down to 22. It saved us half a million. Uh, it's not too bad. 
Unfortunately, they are elite status, but I, they're not ever going to be relevant in these anymore. They're no longer in a situation where they're going to be more powerful than the opposing, so... Uh, which means that... This is, maybe I won't do it, though, because tensions are rising... And I'm pretty sure when they come out of um, act when they come out of reserve fleet that they don't have the elite status anymore. Like it would be okay to do for these, in fact. But these are just working up. Maybe they'll get back to elite status. I don't know. I don't know these things. So probably the two we could put on. Um, yeah. Okay. But they don't have that much maintenance anyway. Okay, fine. Everyone stays in active fleet. Well, let's sell it to them. I could use the money, obviously, and then on top of that, hopefully we can initiate tra uh, tech trading with them. They haven't obliged me so far, but never say never. All right, well, we can't actually do anything, so just go next. And we're stuck again. One more month and then we can get a little bit of budget back. Okay, hey, this is the Regina Elena. That's a pretty good ship. I mean, it, it's not good for a new ship, but 25 knots, my goodness. Right in that weird zone between Battlecruiser and Dreadnought. And they call it Dreadnought, but honestly, I would call this Battlecruiser. It's light enough and fast and yeah. Well, it's at the cusp. Okay, we've made these unexpected advances in ship design, but I'm not seeing anything for it. And ship design is actually on medium. What we have is high on naval guns. Okay, 50 million has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. The Japanese people want it. If you do not build a battleship, you may become a focus of some displeasure. Hmm. Well, does that count? Oh, God. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Must have four. What the hell? Is this satisfy it? I don't know if this satisfies it. Let's find out. I mean, hey, we can take all the things off. Just get everyone resume status. Okay. Better torpedoes. Yeah, we're okay. Fine, that's actually worked out great because I already had things on halt at the time, so. <laughs> and our first dreadnought, the Georgeson, has been commissioned. Very good. Very good. Very happy with this. Very good. Let's see how they continue to stack up. Oil, but oil's not a problem in 1920 anymore. Uh, let's back our ally unconditionally. Was that Korea or Manchuria? No. Yeah, definitely this. We just can't get tensions up with the Britain. Okay, well, just keep pushing. Dreadnoughts are going to start finishing, which is good. Start alleviating our budget issues. One more month for the Godzilla. I mean, Gojira. Hmm. Just take a look at her again. It looks like a strange design because it looks like these are too far forward. <laughs> it, it looks funny. It looks like this should be the front of the ship. <laughs> it's probably because of my superstructure. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, but... We could always generate a picture for it. Um, <clears throat> this is far enough ahead, I'll use the straight. I won't quite use the flared. That'll be a little bit further in the future. Medium time, yeah, that's fine. Straight as well, I won't do the... The counter is kind of the ugly one. Uh, but I won't do straight. I won't do um, cruiser yet, which is the prettiest looking one. So we'll just do straight. Uh, maybe counter. No, 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 straight. Could cut down the quarter deck. I don't think that's necessary. Our... Actually, this one being raised, I thought this is artificial. I thought this would, well, it doesn't matter. It, it just looks like a very silly thing until we give it a nice big bridge right here, which we can do. 
Come on, give me... Now, yeah. Ooh, the heck? No, I don't like that. <laughs> Undo. Let's give it... This is probably what I'm looking for. Just aesthetics, by the way. This obviously has just no impact whatsoever on the game. Oh, what I can do is undo that. I can get, yeah, deck like this. And then one more. And then get this on top of that. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm already annoyed. It's not annoyed, but bored of this. And we'll give it a nice big thing here. Ta-da! There is the, well, the Sagami class. Use and exit. Oh, by the way, different picture sets? No, 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 we don't. <laughs> Use and exit. Now we can actually see that this is... Voila! Okay, it doesn't look so bad once we add this whole front thing to it. Looks interesting that there's so much space between these two. Probably, even though this is super firing, what we should do is probably just add something in the middle, so it looks like there's a reason not to put them. Mm, okay, but if we have to generate a new picture, I won't do it. <laughs> okay, so there you go. You're. That's why I'm not an artist. Uh, one more month of budget. Wait a second. But, 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 I had, oh, they finished, oh, huh, that's unfortunate. During a coronation review, there has been a collision between one of our ships and a ship from France. No, not again. What is your comment? The accident was a result of clumsy maneuvering by the ill-trained crew of the ship from France. I guess so. I could take the prestige hit, but no, whatever. Here we come, France, again. We don't even have intel with them, so we're trying. That usually pro helps provoke tension. That's one way to, one of your only ways, in fact, to manipulate tension, is by controlling your intel. So it looks like the people were a little upset. I didn't build their, excuse me, I didn't build their battleship, but I did. Well, I guess I didn't. Oh, good. British changing government has the potential to reduce tensions. Oh, I don't want to reduce tensions. Yes. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> That's what I want to see. And we have to pause somebody. Let's pause you. Ugh, we have to pause another person. Okay, these two. Yeah, see, we haven't increased, and we're we're already up to 43,000. <clears throat> Which is where my main dreadnought came from in France, and I plan on duplicating that design, the La France, which never saw action. I think she was redesigned by XTRG, which was a very sad day. So how do we get around this? This is really the predicament. Probably just halt this one. That'll save us a little bit. And these two should do it. Good. Um, yeah, we'll take it even though it'll put us negative. Okay, and we got quality one 13 inch guns. Okay, that means we have to redo our battle cruisers for like the fifth time. <clears throat> this is uh, honestly so many retrofits for this battle cruiser. <laughs> but why wait? Why put off to tomorrow what you can do today? Well, because we don't have the budget for it, frankly, but France is just close enough to war that we probably have to risk it. Let's get these two to halt. <clears throat> and now let's do it. Mm. Actually, these are going to be really expensive. And they didn't go back up to Elite, you see. So I don't think that that's my imagination. I think that's just how it is. A rebuild takes their crew back down to normal crew, which I don't like at all. I really don't dislike it. Because they still have their battle stars, right? Only one? Do they... Yeah, this one has two. The Maru Tenzo has two, and she's still at good as well. Right, we're going to have to wait another month. We just don't have the budget right now. We need to get one of these to finish. So let's unhalt these. 
which might, nope, whoa, what? Oh, our funds are negative. Yeah, we actually have to halt. <laughs> we definitely need those halted because our funds are already negative. We need to climb our way out of the negative. Okay, and one more month. Okay, wow. Well, this could be it. An unidentified submarine has fired a torpedo on one of our ships. Fortunately, it missed. I've never seen this event before. Amazing. There are, unfortunately, no clues as to who might be behind this underhanded act. The Hawk Party is demanding resolute action. Actually, I think I did see this one during my United States playthrough, but it's been a while. Anyways, I don't think there's any... This is like one of the rare times where you have a chance to manipulate tensions. There is no doubt in my mind we need to issue an ultimatum to the British. I wouldn't mind Germany either. To the British. Oh wow, oh my, oh my god, oh my goodness. Uh, those quality 13, uh, quality one 13 inch guns are just gonna have to wait now. Um, well, we're gonna go to war and we're going to let the United States join us. This will be the Japanese and American British war. The Anglo American Japanese war. <laughs> I don't know how you'd want to word this, but it's just a bad time for us to actually cancel our alliance. Oh, well, we're not at war quite yet, but war is coming. And since war is coming, we want to make sure that we have these ships getting, ah, darn it. Getting built as soon as possible. Just take this right to the brink. Okay, we'll get all of them. This one's even pretty close. Nope, but that'll, that'll take us way too far. Actually, no, let's we'll just leave it like this. This is fine. Um, by all means, sell it to the Italians. The Italians are kind of like the not relevant to this game nation. So we really don't mind them. Quality one eight inch guns, not important, unfortunately. Not, and we're just hovering that, towing the line with the British. War is imminent, I would say. Can now resume these, and this one as well. Three months, I'd say in three months we're probably, we'll probably be at war. And I'll just try to get to that war before we end this episode. Ah, uh, yes. The Americans do have some good battle cruisers coming out. This is the same, this looks like the same one as before. Eight 15 inch guns. Oh good, increased endurance. This um, decrease, I think that this is a big change when you have ships getting interned or scuttled. This reduces it a lot. And there it is. Japan and Great Britain are now at war. And we have our surprise attack at last. <laughs> it doesn't look like the British have much here. Absolutely. Finally, Tortuga gets his dream. A torpedo attack, and we will we will be controlling these destroyers. But I'm going to save this for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back for the start of our war with Great Britain. Until then, take care.